Hey everybody, taking a quick look here at the uh, Jeep Electronics Limited Edition Boombox. Uh, not sure what year this came out, but uh, I have the original instruction manual for it. Uh, is there a year on there? 1998 looks like this came out, according to the instruction manual. Here's the uh, antenna. This gets actually stored in the battery compartment underneath. But uh, for the sake of this video, I left it out for the time being. You can see, I'll show you the battery compartment in the pictures uh, in the listing itself. The only thing I've noticed about this is that someone has replaced the hinge. I'm assuming the whatever pin they used for the hinge had come loose at some point, and they replaced it with a nail. Uh, I would imagine a long nut and bolt would work better, but it does the job for the time being. Here's the unit itself. It's in uh, fairly decent condition. Uh, actually, it's in pretty good condition. It's just dusty and dirty. Could use a good cleaning. Uh, the reason I'm making this video is showing you that everything works right now. Uh, it has a cassette player, CD player, radio. So, uh, let me go ahead and plug the antenna in right here. There's also an antenna port on the back. This antenna bends in any direction you want. If so, if you have this and you're carrying it and you want the antenna plugged in the back, you can angle it. On off, let me just show you all the controls here real quick. There's the radio, the tuner, uh, AM, FM, weather band radio, bass and treble control, uh, feature control. This has the uh, radio, CD player, tape deck. Here you have the opening for the CD player. You pull that outward a little bit. There's a disc in there right now, so we'll close that. Some more controls here for the uh, CD player. Cueing. Here's a bass boost. Play pause for the CD player. And here's a cassette deck. Right now we do have a cassette in here. This opens a little slow, but it opens right up. We have a cassette in there right now. And it closes slowly too, but works just fine. So let's start off here. There's the radio playing right now. Oh, by the way, a speaker. Let me turn that down. We got a speaker on this side and a speaker on this side for this unit. So here's the radio. Uh, I live in a valley and I get reception in this valley, which is kind of surprising. Normally I can't pick up radio stations down here. But uh, that's the radio, your tuning knob right there, and again, bass and treble. So let's switch this over to the center, which is CD player. And you can see here it should be queuing. Yep, I'm not sure if you can see it uh, due to the digital display, but it should it's queued up at this point. And we'll go ahead and we'll hit play. And I believe the first song has a long lead, so we'll use this queuing. And we'll go over to song number two. Let's turn this up. Here's the cue knob to change from. Now the only thing I noticed about the CD player is this cue knob here. A little stiff going back and forth, but works just fine. But let's go ahead and stop that. And we'll switch this over to the tape deck. And we'll come over here. Little ZZ top there, rewind works. Fast forward works. I'm not sure if this will play when open, so let's take a look here real quick. Uh, got it opened up. Oh, yep, does play with this open. So uh, there's the whole unit. Like I said, it's in good working condition. Could use a good detailed cleaning, but uh, everything works on this as it should. Again, it com does have the antenna. It does have the uh, power power cable right here, and it also runs on 8D batteries. And again, the only real issue, it has some scratches and scuffs just from 
you know, being stored in a Jeep all of its life. Uh, but the only real issue I noticed is that the uh, hinge pin, again, was replaced with a nail. Um, so I just wanted to point that out. Also, there is a shoulder strap here, which has been tied in a knot, which kind of keeps it kind of short. Uh, I did not untie it, but it is there. You have your handle there. And again, does have the original instruction box. So thanks for watching.